Do you just dump your drone footage straight from the drone thinking it's good to go? Stop, Stop it. it. Get, Get some help. help. Oversharpened footage is a common problem, and today I'll show you exactly how to fix it, step by step. Let's turn that harsh footage into professional looking visuals. Today, we're diving into five essential tips for fixing oversharpened drone footage using both in camera settings and editing techniques in DaVinci Resolve. Let's start right at the beginning with your drone settings. Tip 1 Adjusting sharpness on the drone. The first tip actually starts before you even hit record. If you're using a DJI Mini 3 Pro, Mini 4 Pro, or a model from the Air 3 series, go into the camera settings and look for the sharpness control. I recommend turning the sharpness down by 2. This alone can help reduce that overprocessed look right from the start, so you'll have less work to do in post production. Bonus tip. Turn down noise reduction as well, since DaVinci Resolve offers much better options for noise reduction. Tip 2. Film in Log Profile Log profiles are a lifesaver for issues with sharpness. Unlike standard color profiles, Log is designed to capture a wider dynamic range with minimal in-camera processing, which means less sharpness. The footage may look a bit flat straight out of the camera, but don't worry. Filming in log gives you the flexibility to add just the right amount of sharpness during editing without being locked into that overly sharp look from the start. I also made a separate video about grading drone footage with film emulation. You should check it out. Tip number three, using blur settings in DaVinci Resolve. This one is straightforward. The blur tool in Resolve is perfect for this. You might think adding blur will make the footage look out of focus, but when done right, it can soften up just the over-sharpened edges. Try applying it just a touch. Around one to two notches should be enough to smooth out the sharp lines without compromising the clarity of your footage. Tip number four. Gaussian Blur Plugin in DaVinci Resolve. If the built-in blur doesn't quite do the trick, you can take it a step further with the Gaussian Blur Plugin in DaVinci Resolve. This plugin gives you finer control over the blur effect, allowing you to target areas that still look too harsh even after adjusting settings and applying blur. You can use power windows to isolate specific parts of the image that need softening. The goal here is to create a soft, balanced look, so go easy. Just enough to achieve that smooth, cinematic feel. Tip number five, Texture Pop Plugin. For those looking for the most advanced solution, there's the Texture Pop Plugin. This tool is incredibly useful for enhancing details in a controlled way. Start by switching the operating mode to Advanced. Then make small adjustments to the settings, focusing on medium to tiny details. Moving the sliders to the left will reduce sharpness, while moving them to the right will increase it. A light touch with Texture Pop can keep your footage looking sharp yet natural. This step is perfect if you're aiming for that polished, professional finish. And that's it. With these five tips, you'll be able to take your footage from over-sharpened and harsh to smooth and cinematic. To recap, start by adjusting the sharpness setting on your drone, then shoot in a log profile to reduce in-camera processing. When you're editing in DaVinci Resolve, use the blur settings, the Gaussian Blur plugin if needed, and finally, try the Texture Pop plugin for advanced control over details. These methods combined should give you total control over the sharpness of your footage. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on filmmaking. Drop a comment below if you've tried any of these tips or if you have any other questions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.